uh, related note, here's what's ironic about Shabir's objection. He says that John's gospel is later more theolog theologically developed and less reliable. But here's what's ironic. The Quran confirms John's Logos Christology. Yeah. The very gospel that, John, that Shabir said is the least reliable historically and the more theologically developed. Three times in the Quran, Jesus is said to be the word of Allah. Three times in the Quran. And Islamic tradition, you know what the names of Jesus are in Islamic tradition? Kalimat Allah, Ruh Allah. Yeah. The word of Allah, the spirit of Allah. Yeah. Now, if, yeah. now, here's the dilemma for Shabir. If John is least reliable because he's later more theologically developed, why is your Quran confirming John's Logos Christology? That's a great argument. Is wrong, then you just buried the Quran, Shabir. So why are you still a Muslim, my friend? Sam, yep. let, let me let me play, if you will, uh, the devil's advocate for a moment. So how how would you be a handsome devil, by the way? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, how would you respond, for example, to the Muslim argument that Kalimatullah, the word of Allah, predicated of Jesus of Christ, is simply because of Allah's speech? So Allah says to Christ, "Be." in the womb and he is yes. and that is why he is called kalimatullah you know you're 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 throwing me a curveball right i mean you're making it easy for me to respond to that nonsense Very no, simple. Please, please. Yeah. yeah okay yeah. here's the argument I, I i hope they understood what you're saying the objection is jesus is not the word of god he's created by the word of god and as a result that's why he's called the word of god because god created him by his command well, if that's true, in chapter 3, verse 59 of the Quran, does it not say that Allah created Adam by his word? Mm -hmm. So where is Adam called the word of God? Yeah. Number two, doesn't the Quran say that Allah willed all existence by his command? So that that's right. means everything and everyone is the word of God. So why doesn't the Quran call anyone else besides Jesus the word of God? But yeah. it's singling out Christ as the word of God, just yes. as Christians single yeah. him out as the word of God. Exactly. And that adds to the other point, chapter 4, verse 171. Chapter 4, verse 170 of the Quran says that Jesus wasn't brought into being by the word. He's the word, and you know the Arabic. You got, it's it's karimatuhu al-qaha illa maryam. His word, which he cast down to Mary. Assumption, Jesus was there as God's word, who then came down to his blessed mother to become uh, flesh. Yeah. That's why then it goes on to say, a spirit from him. Now notice the Quran gets it right. Because when Jesus came from the Father, he would not have been material. He would be spirit. And that's what it says. He came as spirit, mm -hmm. entered Mary, became flesh. And to further prove that the Quran is aping John's Logos Christology without the author intending to do so, to further prove it. If Jesus comes from God, then I would expect he'll return to God. In the Quran, since mankind's from the dust, they return to the dust. And yet Jesus went back to Allah according to the Quran. In chapter 3, verse 55 of the Quran, and chapter 4, verse 158, it says, Allah took Jesus to himself. So notice, he comes from Allah, and he goes to Allah. He doesn't return to the dust because he's not from the dust. He's from Allah according to the Quran. What's most interesting about that is that there were Christians. This is according to the Muslim sources. Ibn Kathir, Al-Tabari, Qurtubi. And you know, you're familiar with these individuals. Yeah. They will tell you that the first 80 verses of chapter third, chapter 3, if you read chapter 3, verses 1 to 84, they say those verses were revealed to respond to the objections by the Najrani Christians, the Arabic Christians, the Arab Christians from Najrani. Now, why is that interesting? Because according to the, the commentators, these verses, the first 84 verses, were revealed to respond to them. In one of those verses, you'll find Chapter 3, verse 7, where Muhammad says that in the Quran, you find two sets of passages. The clear passages, they are the mother of the book, and the unclear, ambiguous ones. And those verses, no one knows what they mean except Allah. Only Allah knows what they mean. But those who have a disease in their heart, focus on those verses, verses in order to cause <clears throat> division. According to the commentators... This is a, you'll find this in Ibn Kathir, in even Al Tabari. They, they say that verse was composed to stop the Christians from quoting the Quran, where it says Jesus is the Word of God and Spirit of God to prove his divinity, because no one knows what they mean except Allah. So stop using that. <laughs> I have a question, Sam. I got a question. I got a question. Let me put this on the icing of the cake. You know what that means? That means 
a Muslim can't tell you what those verses mean because yeah. according to chapter 3 verse 7, only Allah knows what they mean. So how dare you explain them to me? I have a question, Sam. Quran study with Allah. <laughs> what? Hope that answers your question. What about the, the, this notion of the eternal? What about this notion of the eternal Quran? I, I tried yes. to press him on that, but that, and he didn't want to go there. Could you comment on that? What, oh, yeah, what, yeah. Is that part of the same area? Well, here's the thing. He's a Sunni Muslim, but the problem with Shibra Ali, he's become so rad radicalized by liberal scholarship. He's now making concessions that now raising the irate of Sunni Muslims. There are now Sunni Muslims who don't like him because he is making too many concessions and he's questioning you know, Islam, Sunni Islam, sacred cow. He'll tell you, like, for example, the most authentic collection of narrations that Sunni Muslims swear by, second only to the Quran, is Sayyid al-Bukhari. Mm -hmm. Sayyid al-Bukhari. He's now willing to question that collection because of those embarrassing and humiliating yep. statements attributed to Muhammad. That now raises the irate of Sunni Muslims. And you have Sunni Muslims like Adnan Rashid, who's another apologist, not very well-versed, not philosophically sophisticated, who came out in a debate and saying that Shirali does not represent us anymore because they're getting upset by the things he's saying about their sacred Sunni tradition. It is part of the aqidah of Sunni Islam. And my brother can confirm this. Ashari believed this. Maturidi believed this. Ahmed Ibn They believe the Quran is kalam Allah. Being the kalam, it's uncreated because it's one of the attributes of Allah. Now, the book is not eternal, obviously. So irony of ironies, their view of the Quran is our view of Jesus, the eternal yeah, word like that became flesh. The book. Mm -hmm. But here the eternal became book. But Shabir Ali understands that if he comes out and agrees with it, he's now going to put himself in a situation where now he's going to sound like a Christian and yeah. trying to make sense how something can be eternal and temporal at the same time. Right. Yeah.